What is going on guys? Today we are looking at shapeshifter Pereira. The guy who's gone from a right back to a left back. And this could be interesting. I believe, if I am correct, we will double check that um, they've also changed his right foot to a left foot. We did see this in Ronaldo. Let me just double check that that is correct. It is correct. So he is now left footed as well. So I like that. I really do like that. The fact that they've not just gone, you know what, put him as a left back, but he's right footed. Because we like a left footed left back. It's just what happens. It's much more beneficial to have it. And, that, and that's exactly what we look for. So it's nice to see that that is actually something they've considered. Um, appreciate that, to be honest. He's a three star, four star. Um, again, I'm quite happy with that. I think three star skills is more than capable for a left back, right back. I don't see him doing ribbery spins down a wing. Um, but the four star weak foot is always nice to have. Five is absolutely a bonus, but four is a must. He's a high, high work rate, so we're going to see him overlapping a hell of a lot in this uh, next couple of games. We are going to be going into foot champs with him as well. He's got 90 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. He's got passing wise, not very good on the free kick accuracy, but to be honest, we could disregard that. Everything else on that passing is really nice. It's genuinely a lovely balanced card on that passing. Dribbling wise, good composure, decent agility and acceleration, and very good dribbling, ball control and reactions. Can't ask for much better than that. Defensively, great on a stand tackle. Slide tackle is decent enough. Defensive awareness is de decent enough. Interceptions, again, very, very nice. Strength, 73. I can I can live with that, to be honest. Very good aggression. Stamina's beautiful. Jumping's nice. Head and accuracy's a little bit down there, but again, it's a stat that, realistically, this game, we don't have much heading going on. So, in the one chance that maybe, yes, the opponent scores... I could probably see that out because it takes about 10 matches for you to concede a header or for them to even try a header. So for me, I don't find that too much of an issue. He's currently coming in at about 230k. I managed to get him for 217. Allison's got free himself. Let's get into the game. So jumping into the first match of Pereira's review, we are coming up against Team of the Year De Bruyne, Aurora, Guardiola, Varane Red, very nice, Zambrata, Marcelo, Diego Carlos, Neymar, and Messi with Van der Sar and Net. Good team. Very, very good team. Let's see what we can do against him, though. Mbappe! We managed to get the first goal there. Very, very luckily. I don't know why uh, his defender didn't really tackle Mbappe, but we managed to get the first goal on his left foot. Let's keep on that momentum. Oh no, oh no. He's dancing around me, that is not a good sign. That was far too easy. And at the minute, Pereira, this is the first touch of the ball. The guy is not coming down this right-hand side. Into Pereira for the second time he's been on the ball. Not lost the ball yet, which is nice. Half time, Pereira has had nothing to do. The guy I don't think has once gone down the right hand side. It's a very back and forth game. Possession, that's about it. Nothing really happening. Both of us could seem like we could pinch one and score the winner. But at the minute, he's looking like he's a bit on top. So hopefully the second half we can really push it down. He's coming down the right. And he's going away from the right. Pereira, watching De Bruyne. Oh, it's good passing from him. Oh, and it's a fantastic goal. Fantastic goal from him. Pereira intercepting, playing a lovely ball to Cubo. Very hard to break this guy down. So going into the second match, the first match did not go well. He managed to absolutely obliterate me after getting his first goal. Now we're coming up against Bruno Fernandez's in-form card, Ronaldo Bernardo Silva, Dalbert, Neymar, Rivaldo as Cam. I think that's his, is that his mid or is, I want to say that that could be his prime. Interesting team. Let's see how we can go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he goes down the right a little bit more. Pereira had nothing to do in that first half, regardless of us actually losing. And Pereira, lovely little run down a wing. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good ball. Silva's got away from Pereira. He's gone for the cross. Pereira's going to see that out. Gone for that big ball up into Ronaldo. Van Dijk's going to make sure that Pereira doesn't have the chance to, to try and head it against him. Pereira's making that overlap. This is what I want to see from him. He's going to try and fit in Mbappe. Not quite doing the job there. But that's exactly what I want from him. He's going to be a more of a left wing back, if anybody. He's got very good uh, passing stats, crossing all of that. And the pace and stamina to really put a uh, defense under the cosh. And also the attack under the cosh. Oh, and that's a good goal from Fernandez. It's not going well. Pereira watching Cancelo here. He's going to try and cut in, but a great tackle from him. Messi going for that first time shot as well. Beautiful stuff from the man. Pereira out. Zidane one more. Giving it back to Ronaldo though. Oh, it's a great save from Alisson. So, the first half of this match, a lot better from Pereira. He's getting involved a lot more. We are winning. Um, again, not too comfortably, but definitely enough to say that we we can really push on this guy. Pereira is going up and down a wing, so again, I can't argue with that. To be honest, just a generic left back, really. There's a lot of left and right backs in this game, so the choice that you're going to have to make is down to either your team or just a personal preference, to be honest. Pereira watching Cancelo. It's passed inside. Kante is going to go with the intercept this time. Oh, and Virgil's gone with a header. He's managed to get that backwards banging header. And it's 3-1. A little bit more comfortable now. Genuinely didn't see that. I thought it went over. It's a beautiful header. Just pushes it over the goalkeeper and into the top right. Pereira's going to watch Cancelo again. Is he going to go for the... Beautiful. It's a great ball to Cancelo. Pereira is going to be there. It's a great tackle from Pereira. Pereira again. He loves playing with that Cancelo down a wing. Not quite getting through again. We're in the 92nd. We're going to try and push for one more. No, not quite. As long as we don't concede. I want to keep it at two. And it looks like that. Oh, we're giving the ball away again. That is going to happen. We win 3-1. A very, very good performance again from the lads. We've managed to bag three in the net and get ourselves the win. Pereira doing a lot better this time. Again, still not having a massive... Not a massive deal to do in this game. I think that's the problem with left back and right backs. If it's not their time to play, it's not their time to play. So going into the overall review for Pereira. Honestly... For 217k or 230 is what he's probably going for right now. I don't know if it's worth it. I, I realistically am thinking left back and right backs in this year. A, there is so many SBC cards that you can use. I think there's so many different ones that you can use tradable as well. Hernandez, under 100k, you can go and get. Semedo, even though he's right footed, you could still use. I personally wouldn't go with that one. Tellez, a perfect example. Uh, not that Mendy. If you did Footmas Mendy, for instance, then obviously this card is completely null to you. You've got Tellez's third in form, I think that one is. You've got Winter Refresh Schultzer, um, and I think that's roughly where you're going to stop the line. Tagliafico is not a bad option, but I wouldn't probably. Um, Robertson, obviously, has got an in form, or you could go Team of the Year if you have that much money. Van, Van Aanholt. Yeah, I think I said that right. He, another great option. But that, probably not. I'd say um, Pereira's better. But for me, I just don't think there's anything special about the card. Realistically, there's so many options. It's all down to preference. Like I said in the video, if you need a Portuguese left back or you need a BPL left back, A, there is plenty of BPL left backs you can choose from. Portuguese, you've got him or Renato Sanchez as the special kind. Um, so there's there's a choice to pick up from there, but realistically, there's so many different choices that you can go for. That being said, Pereira is very quick, decent on the ball, got a good dribbling, very good, like I say, composure-wise, very good at his passing, defensively solid, and can have a good physical. 
but there is no difference from most of the other left backs that you can get in this game. Tellers is exactly the same. Can be very fast, has uh, very good ball ability, good on the defence, good on the physical. It, it all down to preference, for my opinion. If I was going for the overall review for him, I'd put him as a high rate, and I think he's one of the better left backs in the game. Don't get me wrong. Um, I will put him in a solid 8 out of 10. But is he the best? Roberto Carlos. Um, you've obviously got Team of the Year Robertson. You've got Footmas Mendy. I don't think he comes in that sort of category as of yet. Maybe if Pereira did get a couple of more informed versions as well and was left back, then you may be looking at a better card. But for me, I still don't think he's the top in that field. And there's plenty of others that you can choose from at a very good level for a little bit less price. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know down below what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.